based on a very important subject and that is protecting your skin from the sun and essentially protecting your skin from skin cancer. I'm so happy to announce that I've partnered up with Cancer Research UK and I'm going to be an ambassador for them. I think cancer is something that all of us hold very closely to our hearts because unfortunately most people know someone in their lives that has passed away from cancer. So I'm really proud to be supporting this amazing charity and hopefully I can spread this message. I don't know about you, but I know the importance of cancer and how serious it is, but I never think it would happen to me because I'm young. And I think that's something that we need to get out of our heads right now because skin cancer is the second most common cancer between the ages of 15 to 34 year olds. And also skin cancer rates are rapidly increasing in the UK, I think it's something like five times higher now, the rates of skin cancer, than it was in the 70s. That's such a scary thought. And of course, this can be down to your genetics or your skin type, but the main cause is UV radiation, which comes from the sun. And we all know that UV radiation causes all kinds of damage, like premature aging, sunspots, uneven skin tone, just nothing that you want. And the main problem is, of course, skin cancer. The problem is, for some reason, the generation that we're in just thinks having a tan and sizzling yourself in the sun is the most desirable look. But I just think, just be happy in the skin that you're in, no matter how pale or dark you are, don't try and change it, just be happy with your own personal skin, because that's the way that you were born. I have never really been into fake tanning or anything, I just am happy with the colour that I am, and whether that's being really pale in the summer, I don't mind. I'm really hoping that by watching this video, some of you will just think twice about spending so much time in the sun, but let's try and spread this message and just be happy with your natural skin. So there are a few preventatives that I'm going to be talking about, including a few fashion items that you can include into your summer wardrobe just to help protect you from the sun. But first of all, I'm going to be talking about sun cream. Now, I didn't realize this about sun cream, but besides looking for an SPF or 15 or higher, you also need to look on the back for the star rating, and it can be anything between one to five stars. Preferably, you need to be having a four star rating or higher. So this is the sun cream that I have always used. It's the Garnier Ombre Soleil Clear Protect, and I get it in factor 20. And when I was told this by Cancer Research, I was a bit worried that this one wouldn't have the right star rating, because I'd never checked. But luckily, this one does have a five star. I would highly recommend this one, but any sun cream that you're using, as long as it's higher than a 15, factor 15, and the four star rating, it'll be perfect. I just like this one because it's really light and not really sticky like a lot of creams, and it just comes out clear and you just spray it. And I'm not saying you need to apply sun cream every single day of the year only on those days where it looks like it's gonna be a sunny day. So just apply this in the morning and allow it to soak in. And I like to use a separate sun cream for my face because my skin can be a bit sensitive to normal body sun cream. So I use the Hawaiian Tropic Hydration Face and this is a factor 30. And so just apply that on your face. Again, allow that to soak into your skin. And I like to apply my normal body moisturizer over the top of that once it has soaked in. And that is the Aveda Stress Fix Body Lotion. My body lotions change all the time. This is just the one that I'm using at the moment. And this is really lovely. And then again, I will use my normal face moisturizer over the top. And that is the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Protect and Prime. This actually also has an SPF 30 in it, which is an added bonus but I would recommend still using a normal sun cream underneath your normal moisturizer. And then just remember to pack that into your bag so you can reapply that later on. So moving on to hair, the reason I have chosen to talk about hair is because the amount of times in the summer or when I'm on holiday where I'll have my hair up into a top knot or just into a high pony and my neck gets burnt, so I've gone for a hair down look, but still keeping your hair off of your face, because I know when it's really hot, you don't want your hair all over your face. It just makes you feel really clammy. So I've gone for this braided look, and I have just French braided either side, and just do this how you would normally do a French braid, starting at the front, taking small amounts of hair as you work your way down to the side, and then just tie it at the back and then you can have your hair down to cover your neck and that way your hair will protect your neck and it hopefully won't get burnt. 
So next I'm going to be talking about your outfit and what you can wear to protect your skin. Now when you pick your outfit in the morning you're probably not thinking about what would protect your skin the most in terms of the clothing. And actually what you wear can really be the most beneficial thing when it comes to protecting your skin. So the main thing to consider is to always take a cover up to cover your shoulders even when it's a really hot sunny day. This way, if you're stuck out at lunchtime, you know, having a picnic or something, and you're out and your skin is exposed, that way you can just put something over your shoulders and you'll know that your skin is protected and you don't need to worry about those shoulders going bright pink. And you don't have to take some big woolly jumper or a coat, you can still stick to the trends that are current this summer. And one item that I absolutely love, but it's still gonna cover you up, is this long shirt dress from Glamorous, and I got this on ASOS. It is a maxi dress, but what I like to do is wear denim shorts with a plain white vest top underneath, and just do up the first few buttons and then let the rest hang so that you can still see the denim shorts underneath. And this is just a really lovely way to cover up your shoulders but still look really fashionable. And it's a lovely light material so it's not gonna be really roasting hot. It's just something to bear in mind when you're packing for your day ahead on a really hot summer day to just carry something to cover you up. And my favorite thing is a big summer floppy hat. You just cannot beat one. <laughs> this one is from Topshop. And it's so amazing because it's a crushable one. So you know when you get a hat and it's been at the back of your wardrobe for ages and then it's all like wonky and horrible. This one you can just play around with and have it to whatever kind of shape you want. And this is just an amazing way to shade your face, protect your eyes and also your neck and shoulders as well. Another thing to consider is also your sunglasses. Just make sure that they have the 100% UV protection because some brands don't. Just look for the little sticker on the lens of your sunglasses when you buy them and make sure it complies with the CE mark and the British standard. So there are all of my tips on how to protect your skin from the summer sun. I'm not saying turn into a hermit or a vampire and hide away from the sun forever because at the end of the day the sun is still really good for your skin. It provides a really healthy dose of vitamin D. It's just all about becoming more aware of protecting your skin and not spending hours trying to get a tan. And when you're tanning your skin or burning, just think, is it worth it? The side effects are so bad, it, they can be fatal and personally, I don't think it's worth it at all. Well, I really hope you have enjoyed watching this video and hopefully you found it interesting and you might have learnt something about how to protect your skin. I feel absolutely honoured to be an ambassador for Cancer Research UK and let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you very soon. Bye! And over time I have learnt how to deal with it. There's certain things that can just really calm you down and I wanted to pass on these tips to you. The first one is breathing.